Well, hello, everybody. I wanted to share with you today for our Inlet View about communion. These are different chalices, of course, and a paten, the technical name for communion plate. As I sit here with several that are all meaningful to me, gifts from friends, churches, reminders of our time in Israel, I think about uh, how different they are, how each one is special, but also how they serve the same common purpose. I don't know about you, but I've missed communion these months. It's strange to me that I've been part of more baptisms than communion since April. Never before has that been the ratio. As I sit here thinking about what we've missed and, and how we've not shared in communion together, I also think about how our daily meals, our, our time with others, is in a way a reminder of why we need Holy Communion. If we hadn't spoken to one another for six months, that would be a great loss. And certainly you've been speaking with God through prayer and other means. But when we think about presence, communion for me is, is one of the most tangible ways of connecting with God. We can actually feel grace in our hands, taste it in our mouths. So communion for me is a significant way of connecting with Christ and with one another. That's the communion part. We, we don't receive communion by ourselves. We celebrate it together because we are in community with one another and with God in that very important part of our life. And as we would hunger if we had not eaten meals for several days. For me, I hunger that I have not received communion often in these months. It's been a challenge to think about how we might do that. Because of COVID, we are having to do it differently, and that's been part of the reason we've delayed. But we think we're ready this Sunday to try it. Now, some of you may not have missed communion. Maybe you felt uh, it was something you were glad to not have as frequently. I've heard people say to me over the years that they don't receive communion often because uh, either they feel like frequency makes it somehow less uh, special or meaningful, or some have told me they don't receive frequently because they're not worthy. Uh, to the first, I'll say that, that for me, I, I think we can have very special meals on a regular basis and, and then be memorable and important. But I also think part of the ongoing nature of grace is it's not always uh, a glamorous event, a, a romantic meal, a, a, a place of fine dining. A lot of times grace comes into our lives in another bowl of cereal or another uh, going up and doing what needs to be done, and, and God meets us there too. And to the latter, I'll say that, that let's think about our worthiness. Is someone worthy of forgiveness? Well, no. If they needed to be forgiven for something, if we need to be forgiven for something, we're not worthy of it because we have been in the wrong. We don't become worthy of forgiveness. It's a gift given to us. And grace is a gift, not only of forgiveness, but of, of nourishment and, and presence. And, and gifts are also given rather than earned. And so, no, we're not worthy of gifts. That would be a payment if we were worthy of it. We are given gifts. And, and finally, I would say that since we believe communion is Jesus' presence with us, I don't believe I am worthy to enter Jesus' presence by my own account. But here the Lord God Almighty has invited me in, a gift. And so it's not by my worthiness, but by His that I can come to receive. So I hope that you will consider uh, communion maybe differently if those are things you've thought about. And I hope you'll be able to join us for communion this Sunday. Now, some of you will be with us in worship services here in presence. Uh, and so we will have communion as an available option at the end of worship service for those who are in person. But we know that many cannot be here. Either uh, I've chosen not to because of concerns or unable to come this week, or, um, you know, maybe have not been able to register. And so we wanted to have an option for you as well. So Sunday afternoon from four until six, we will have a drive-through communion service. 
It will be the liturgy of the morning, so we hope you'll join us online, if not in person, to be part of the liturgy Sunday morning. But then between 4 and 6, you can drive through the campus. We'd ask you to come down Merle's Inlet Road and Blaine Road to make sure we don't put any traffic, extra traffic, on Highway 17. And then enter through by the cemetery. You'll come past the FLC, the Family Life Center, and there will be three stations at that point. One station will be for those who would like to make contributions to the Backpack Buddies. If you want to bring your food for Backpack Buddies, we'll receive that Sunday afternoon between 4 and 6. Another station will be for those who would like to contribute to school supplies for our local students who, whose families would struggle to provide the supplies they need for school. And then finally, we will have the communion station. And so there you will be able to receive communion. Now, it won't be the loaf that we're accustomed to, and you won't be receiving out of the common cup as we like to do in non-COVID times. We've got these little packets. In that, you will, be, you will receive both the wafer, the body, and the juice, the blood, and we'll be able to receive them both within your car uh, in a safe way. It's the same as we'll do Sunday morning for those in person. As they leave the worship service, if they would like, they can receive this packet and receive the communion in that way. Finally, a word to our younger viewers. If you are uh, kindergarten through fifth grade and, and watching this, first of all, good for you. Thanks for watching. Uh, secondly, I want you to know that the drive through Sunday afternoon will also include a goodie bag for you. So kindergartners through fifth grade, make sure your family show up Sunday afternoon as Miss Emmeline has a goodie bag for you. All right. Well, I hope we can worship together. I, I hope we can receive communion We'll look forward to seeing you in person and online, and, and those of you who are online, we hope to see you Sunday afternoon as well to receive Holy Communion together. Have a great weekend.